welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be taking you guys through the entire process of how I clean my guinea pig cage. So I'm gonna be really focusing on some different things than I did in my last cage cleaning video. I'm gonna be focusing more on what kind of materials I use to clean my cage, what, what I use to clean my fleece, and really how to set up and properly use fleece in your guinea pig cage. I have done a lot of trial and error with different fleece methods um and i really really like the way that i use fleece in my cage right now and i just want to take this time to share that with you guys and to also share the cleaning process and what you need for that and the best way to efficiently clean your guinea pig cage so yeah that's what today's video is going to be about so i'm just going to go ahead and get right into it so this is what the cage looks like at the moment honestly it is a mess i haven't spot cleaned in a few days and it hasn't been fully cleaned in a week. I have been pretty busy and just have not had the time to get around to it. So the first step when cleaning your cage is to get the guinea pigs out of the cage and have them in some sort of playpen or just an area set up for them to spend some time in while you're cleaning. This is what I just set up for my three girls for some floor time. Um, basically, I just sweeped up my bathroom and cleaned it all out and then I put down some fleece blankets. Um, there is no absorbent layer under the blankets, but I'm honestly not too worried because underneath is just my tile floor so I can easily just wipe anything up. So in here I've made sure to include a water bottle, many places for them to run and hide through, and some hay. So really you wanna make sure that you have those things in your floor time area while you're cleaning your guinea pig's cage. And try and do interesting and fun hides that they don't normally get. So for example, this pink tube is new for them and they only really get this little tunnel in floor time. So by doing different hides and such, it keeps them really interested and keeps them stimulated and exploring and all that. And I have just used the lid of my Midwest cage as a sort of barrier. And yeah, so this is their little floor time area and they really, really enjoy it. So I have now just cleaned out the entire cage. And so now I'm going to talk about a very important thing when you're considering how you're going to keep your guinea pigs cage, which is what kind of bedding should you use? So there are many different kinds of bedding out there. You can use Carefresh, you can use kiln dried um, wood shavings, you can use fleece. Personally, I use fleece. So fleece, I think overall is more affordable to fill a cage this size with um, some sort of like care fresh or paper-based bedding is going to end up being really, really, really expensive on a like weekly basis. So I use fleece. So you can buy a lot of like pre-made fleece options. Like there's um, a lot of, there's a lot of like pre-made, pre-sewn, uh, complete fleece liners on Etsy and there's guinea dad liners and all of that. But that I think is kind of the more expensive route when you're thinking about fleece. What I do for fleece is I buy two layers. So you're gonna wanna have two layers if you're using fleece. You cannot just use fleece. You wanna have a absorbent bottom layer and then a wicking top layer. And I will get more into what that means later. But for an absorbent layer on the bottom, you could use disposable puppy pads. You could use towels. You could use reusable like bed puppy pads um, you could use U-Haul blankets, which I know a lot of people use those when they make the Etsy liners. So you want that absorbent layer. Personally, I use these washable like puppy bed pad type thing. Um, so I will link them down below. I got mine off Amazon. They are like 24 inches by like 30 something inches. So I wanna say like two feet by three feet. And so since my cage is two feet by eight feet, I can use three of them inside my cage every time I clean. So that is gonna be your absorbent layer on the bottom. You could use towels if you don't have the money to invest in um, something more absorbent but just an absorbent layer on the bottom and then on top of that you're going to want to use fleece you can get fleece from Walmart you can get fleece from Joann's you can get fleece from tons of places super cheap and by doing this with the two layers it allows you to only buy 
like one absorbent layer and then you can buy different many types of fleeces change out the cage theme you don't have to spend a ton of money on a whole new liner that includes both layers every time you want to change up the look of your cage which i find super great because i love to make my cage like look fun and new every time i do it so the thing about fleece you're going to want to buy fleece you don't want to buy any other type of like material you want to buy fleece especially anti-pill fleece that's really the kind you want to buy they have some at walmart they have some at joann's um craft stores stuff like that that is the type of fleece that you want to buy and then so here is the big thing wicking fleece you want to make sure that your fleece is wicked this means that if you were to pour water on top of your fleece it's not going to sit and like a pile on top or like sit in a little puddle, it's going to soak through. And the reason you want this is so that when your guinea pigs pee in their cage, it's not going to sit on top of the fleece. You don't want it to puddle, you don't want it to get their tummies wet, anything like that. You want it to soak through the fleece and then absorb into your absorbent layer. So in order to wick the fleece, there are many different me methods out there and there's a lot of different videos on it if you want a more detailed explanation. But in order to wick the fleece, you want to wash it in your washer multiple times. Some people say on cold, some people say on hot. I wash mine on warm or hot when I wick it and I wash it with free and clear detergent and with white vinegar. And I wash it uh, maybe three to four times. You wanna wash it over and over and over. And after each wash, I typically take my fleece over to my kitchen faucet or any faucet and I run it under and I just observe how the water goes over the fleece. So you want it, the water to completely soak through the fleece. So hold the fleece up at an angle under your faucet. And if the water is like running down it even a little bit, um, you really should wash it again. So you want to just really see the water go straight through the fleece. It's okay if it maybe runs down just a tiny bit, but if you can see like water pooling on the top and then running down before soaking in, you really want to do just a few more washes to make sure that when the water hits the fleece, it goes straight through. And this will make sure that when your guinea pigs pee on the fleece, it goes straight through the fleece and it doesn't like uh, pool or anything, which is what, that's what you don't want that is how you use fleece incorrectly. That is how that causes foot issues in guinea pigs and how that causes ammonia buildup. You want to make sure that when the water hits the fleece, it goes through it. So I usually take my fleece straight out of the washer, do the test under the faucet. If it's good, you can either dry the fleece in your dryer or air dry. Really air dry is your best bet because the dryer can, put, can potentially unwick your fleece. If you choose to dry your fleece in the dryer, what you wanna make sure you do is you don't use dryer sheets. And also drying on no heat I have found has helped, but different fleeces do like different wicking processes. Like I have some fleece that I can dry in the dryer on any heat and it won't unwick. But then I have some fleeces that you have to air dry them. And the good thing about fleece is when it comes out of the washer, it's not even that wet. Like it is really not that wet. Like it will not take that long to air dry. And um, something I advise is to have two sets of fleece bedding. So enough absorbent pads to do a full clean cage without having to do laundry. This way, when you're cleaning your cage, you don't have to sit around and wait for your washer to finish. And especially if you're having fleece where you have to air dry it, you don't wanna have to sit around and wait for your fleece to air dry while your, while your guinea pigs are out of their cage, like you're waiting, this whole process, you don't want to take forever. So you really wanna have two sets of fleece and two sets of absorbable pads. So you can do laundry on any day of the week and then you'll have all clean laundry ready for when you clean your cage. So it's a quick and easy process. So that's basically like what you need to do to properly use fleece in your cage and how I use fleece in my cage. And as well, I wanted to mention when cleaning your cage, what kind of supplies you want to use. You want to use um, the all free and clear, scentless, no perfume, no dyes, all that, that type of detergent. And then I as well use distilled white vinegar. So I use a third cup of distilled white vinegar when I wash my guinea pig stuff. This really helps to get that like guinea pig pee smell out of the fleece when you wash it. So I really recommend doing that. Um, I have heard some things about how the white vinegar can like eat away at your like washing machine if especially if it's like a front loading washing machine it can eat away at like the like silicone that holds the door shut so maybe look into that if you have a front loading washing machine my washing machine loads from the top so i'm not particularly worried about that but if you have a front loading one maybe do some re research on that i'm not 100 percent sure like how true that is but i have heard some stuff about it so i would check in just to be sure and then when you're cleaning out 
the bottom of your cage, whether it's chloroplast or canvas like mine, I use a 50% water, 50% white vinegar mixture. And um, it's the same distilled white vinegar that I throw in the washer. I use it in a 50-50 mixture in a little spray bottle to clean my cage. And that is piggy safe. So if you have any stains on any hides or anything, you could use that to clean the bottom of the cage, to clean any plastic hides you have. Um, but typically I just clean my food bowls and my plastic hides with just very hot, warm water. And so yeah, there's just a few things to note um, about guinea pig cage clean and how, what kind of bedding you can use and all of that. So now I'm just going to finish cleaning up my cage and then I will show you guys how I set it up. All right, so these are the absorbent pads that I use in the bottom of my cage. I have three of them here that will cover the entire length of my cage. And then here is the fleece I will be using today. This is from Joann's and I have wicked it quite a few times. Um, it is one and a half yards and then I cut it in half so that it is the proper width for my cage and that will make it long enough for the entire cage. So I just use this type of fleece over these pads and I did um, wash out the bottom of my cage, the canvas type with that water vinegar mixture I was talking about. So now I'm just going to go ahead and put these in and this in and I do use binder clips to clip the sides of my fleece to the side of the cage here just to make sure that the guinea pigs cannot burrow underneath it and that it keeps all the poo contained. So I'm just gonna quickly put that in and then I'll do a little test to show you guys what it should look like when the fleece is wicked. All right, so here's the fleece in the cage. You see I've attached it to all the sides using binder clips. It's not necessarily perfect, but it is cheaper than buying a pre-sewn fleece liner and I can always decide to sew one in the future if I happen to gain some sewing skills, but I'm just gonna show you guys what it should look like when water goes on top of the fleece with the pads underneath. So I'm just gonna do a very small amount of water here. See that it absorbs right away. So there is no puddle. It literally takes to the fabric within a matter of like seconds. And eventually this little wet spot here will disappear as the water absorbs into the pad underneath. But that is what it should look like if your fleece is whipped properly. All right, this is my litter box. And inside my litter boxes, I usually use Carefresh or paper-based um, like pellet litter type stuff. And sometimes I just put the litter or the Carefresh straight in the pan. Sometimes I use a smaller size um, pad like this and I'll fold it up and fit it to the right size and then I'll put care fresh on top of the pad just for extra absorbency. Here is the finished cage and I have put them in and they seem to be really enjoying it. I have a hay station over here as well as a hay station over here and all of my hides have more than one exit except for this bag which I probably will not leave in here overnight but this is just because my guinea pigs were recently bonded so this helps reduce any fighting and yeah i think it looks super cute and this cleaning process took literally forever but i am so happy with the way the cage looks and i do have some pee pads that are finishing up in the dryer that i will probably be adding and some hot spot pee areas like over here and over there but yeah here is the finished cage Please leave a like if you enjoyed this video and feel free to subscribe if you are interested in seeing more videos like this. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.